with a pair of interceptions. It's the Pats and the Bills on Thursday night. Autumn has come to upstate New York. Fall colors abound, and we welcome you inside Highmark Stadium here in Orchard Park. But tonight, we kick off week six with a great Thursday night matchup as it will be the New England Patriots taking on the Buffalo Bills. Hello, everybody. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And, Charles, you take a look at the Bills entering play here. They come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. And going back through the tape, I thought they looked pretty good last week. It was a solid win, a comprehensive win. The Pats offense ready to go to work on short rest here on this Thursday night. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 25 carries, 111 for yards, and a touchdown. Well, obviously, he didn't have a great deal of time between games, having to turn around on a short week and get ready for Thursday night football. But he said in pregame, he was feeling pretty good and felt more recovered from last week's contest than he would have expected. Didn't seem to think this short week was going to affect him much as he chases a big performance here in prime time. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. Looking to throw. Jones. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they got a whole game. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. They are currently mired in a losing streak. Now they get the short week for the Thursday night game. Do you see that as a potential positive, or is this just more in what has been really a string of bad luck for them? Well, to me, it comes down to leadership, and leadership's got to spin it into a positive and make it an advantage for them. Yes, we're in a losing streak. Yes, no one thinks we can win, but we have the resources we need right here in this room. Let's go ahead and play better. Let's hang together and shock the world a little bit. Put it all together. They've got a chance of coming out of the gun. Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will finally be tracked down at the Bills' 36-yard line. 41 yards rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now here's a whistle as flags come in. And we'll check out the call. Who moving from his tight end spot there. Do you think that perhaps the play call was for him? The full start backs him up five, first and 15. Push forward for about four down to the 37. You look at this Buffalo defense. Well, they were terrific a week ago in the win over Seattle. And I'm eager to see the game plan and trying to attack them this week because when you take it away four times through interceptions, do you now decide that I can't throw the ball against this team and try and run it like crazy? Or do you challenge them? This is going to be fun. Here's Jones. Looking to throw on second down. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time to have a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. 
Patriots gearing up to go now. The last time I remember their drive stall, but thanks to their kicker. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Patriots in control of the football as they've got it with a first and 10. And they'll keep leaning on the running game back to the ground. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply the offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. He seemed to have a reasonable amount of time in the pocket, but he couldn't get rid of the football, and the end result, Charles, him on the ground. Yeah, he's got to keep an internal clock to go along with his offensive line. When you're talking about three, four, five seconds, that's a reasonable amount of time to expect to deliver the ball downfield. So great to try and complete a pass. It's equally important to know when to throw the football away, too. Jones now on third down. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of looking at each other. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's, he's been great, but they haven't scored a lot of points. I think they still have to show him as a threat. Make sure he touches it a few times. But as you pointed out, Use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people in order to put more points on the board. He's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points up? Here's a second down and seven from the 37. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The offense on third down tonight. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and four. Back to throw. Jones. Hard throw. Incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This off. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. He'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll be taken down at the 18. 73 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Jones, off play action. The kidder here, it's complete. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. from the gun, Jones. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. 
and they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. To throw again on second down, Jones. That is caught by Smith-Schuster. A gain of 28 yards there and give them a first down. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. This one complete to Tanya underneath. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Robert Tunyon. His first touchdown on the year. And the Patriots will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Their first passing touchdown of the ball game, and they go to the big tight end in those sure hands, and he provides the score. Certainly looked like they were focused on taking away other weapons, and he certainly made them regret that. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. From the 29, Jones. All right, rifles one, that's going to be intercepted. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Okay, partner, no surprise to you. I'm going to look at this from the defensive perspective. In the rain, you have to be more cautious trying to cover passing rounds. Why? Bumpins. New England's offense set to go. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. 95 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. Now a play fake here on first down. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. It'll give him eight that time, and they'll be left with second and a couple. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Weaving through traffic, and now he's free. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. There was a great article in the paper yesterday about how he likes to run angry. <laughs> Plays like that, you can feel it, can't you? As long as he doesn't drive angry, we're okay. Because when he's on the field, that anger works for him. It fuels him, it powers him, and the end result runs like that.
Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Brought down by Ed Oliver. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. Back now in Buffalo. It's Patriot football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Looking to throw. Jones. And that is incomplete. Well, it looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Now Jones to throw on third down. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Not only did he have a chance... Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Over the middle, complete. That's James. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. Back to throw. Jones. This one left side caught by Collins. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that will bring up second down. Again, he'll drop to throw. Another one caught by Collins. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. They'll look to throw again. God, man, it's Collins complete. And worth pointing out, after that last completion, that puts this young quarterback over 10,000 yards passing for his career. And fair to say, he's not done yet. No doubt about it. He's really just getting started because he's not quite into the prime of his career. So it's likely he's going to hit a few more of these milestones as this career progresses. So let's face it, we'll acknowledge this number and we'll celebrate the milestones down the road. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and ten. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They'll come up now on second down. To throw is Jones. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just can... shocked when I realized they were running the football at fourth in that distance I thought that was a surefire throw and I can hear it in your voice because I'm the exact same way no one runs the football Jones. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. 
I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Doesn't you kinda, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> Well, somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed at intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make wholesale changes. You just have to do it a little bit better, a little cleaner. Club selling out of here to doing stadiums. Gold diggers don't come around, they don't survive my radius. I keep it too real for real, and that's the made me rich. That's what made me rich. Hustling, that's what made me rich. Yeah, whole club selling out of here to doing stadiums. Small business don't come around, they don't survive my radius. All I talk about, and that's what really made me rich. Hustling, that's what made me rich. That's what made me rich. The whole club. Too white to be shooting in the eyes. I'm sleeping good at night. See the door don't got no lights. Said so these spice bushy best friends with the eyes. And that you, that you, you need better stars. Standing on my money, dog. Please don't get to involved. Ain't nobody running off. Rules to the basics. I can't be no son in law. I can't take the summer off. I make it look good and all, but this is no vacation. All the goons, they respect me, and I know. Watch your words and your tone, you're not a part. My advice, please don't try to be your own. Let me know they go close. Oh, selling out of here to doing stadiums. Gold diggers don't come around, they don't survive my radius. I keep it too real for real, and that's what, that's what made me rich. That's what made me rich. Hustling, that's what made me rich. Yeah, whole club selling out of here to doing stadiums. Small business don't come around, they don't survive my radius. All I talk about, and that's what really made me rich. Up out the gutter, I don't know if you can tell. Her hustle 